people do this for a reason. You know, they do it to essentially maximise that asset and sort of make as much money as possible is usually the North Star with these things. So like you say, one into three might be sort of a front to back type development. So one at the front and then another one and another one at the back. Getting into those sorts of things is sort of understanding the rules and regulations of that particular council. How big may those dwellings be and what do those resales look like at the other end? So essentially stacking up all your numbers and appreciating what the outcome looks like at the end. And and something something that we have learned is that more isn't always more. So essentially that highest and best use analysis can often end up in a side-by-side shared wall maximizing the tidal sizes. So those front to back ones, you know, you'll have a common drive down the side, which obviously is land that won't live on any of the titles. They, it, you know, it will be common. So essentially some of that title, some of that land that you have bought, which, you know, not telling you guys anything, the land is what what we're all interested. It's the appreciating asset there. So to have have a, a big portion of that left in the common common property of a development isn't that effective, I don't think. So so essentially doing a dual lock side by side, no common property, give the land to the landowners that are buying it at the end is a great way to do it. But it's but essentially your numbers don't lie with this stuff. So doing a side by side as an example seeing what those resales look like versus the resales of a front-to-back townhouse will start to show you what, what is the highest and best use.